there is almost nothing more mysterious than space. We do have some information from telescopes and data, but really no one actually knows what's out there. That is except the few people who have been there, astronauts. We all know famous things that astronauts have said. For example, when Neil Armstrong landed on the moon, he said one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. But did you know that many astronauts have said some very unsettling things before? These things will change how you see space forever, from reports of snakes in space, to the world's most famous astronaut who said, quote, they're watching us. Space Snakes in 1994, astronaut Story Musgrave said something very strange. He is a prolific astronaut who's been on six flights to outer space. He is not only a NASA astronaut, but also a doctor and mathematician. He is taken very seriously and is one of the most prominent people in the space community. But he said that on two of his space flights, he'd encountered what appeared to be space snakes. He said these snakes were ranging from six to eight feet in length much larger than a normal terrestrial snake. He said the snake followed him for a fairly substantial amount of time while in space, and he even tried to communicate with the snake. Some believe this could have been an extreme hallucination, while others say this is evidence that extraterrestrial snakes live in space. If it is a hallucination, this is a pretty big coincidence. That's because he saw these snakes on two out of his six space flights. They're watching us. Everyone knows there are lots of questions about the moon landing. Some believe that it outright did not happen, while others believe that it did happen but we did not get the full story. But one of the most mysterious things about the moon landing is Neil Armstrong's actual first words when he landed on the moon. Most people think the first thing he said was one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. But NASA claims to have lost transmission for roughly two minutes beforehand. The transmission was beamed to a receiver in Australia, and it was then transmitted to US televisions with a delay. In the lost two minutes, Neil Armstrong reportedly said something unsettling to NASA. He said, these babies were huge, sir, enormous, oh god. You wouldn't believe it. I'm telling you, there are other spacecrafts out here, lined up on the far side of the crater's edge. They're on the moon, watching us. This was not heard by the world as the broadcast was dropped for two minutes. And Neil Armstrong never spoke about this ever again. But many sources have confirmed that this was what he said when he first landed on the moon. Do you think astronauts know more than they're allowed to tell us? Maybe NASA was hiding something so the public did not get freaked out. UFO Formation This one comes from NASA astronaut Gordon Cooper. He was the last American astronaut to spend time in space alone, and while he was in space alone, he had various very strange and scary experiences. Before he went into space, he was in the Air Force, and in 1951, when he was flying with other pilots, he saw what he called a vast armada of UFOs. He said they were flying in formation at very high altitudes. In 1963, he had his first voyage into space. He was put into a Mercury capsule which would circumnavigate the entire world. But as he was flying over Perth, Australia, he saw a fast flying green object. This was also picked up by tracking systems in Australia. Mysteriously, the media were told they were not allowed to talk to him about this. Some say it could have been a military experiment they did not want anyone knowing about, while others said maybe this was a UFO. Knocking. This one comes from the first Chinese astronaut in space, Lang Yuai. One night in space, he said he heard a strange and continuous knocking sound. He said someone or something was knocking on the outside of the spaceship. According to him, it sounded like someone hitting an iron bucket with a hammer. To make things even more creepy, this is not the first time this has happened. Two other astronauts have reported this exact same thing happening while they've been in space. What could be making this constant knocking sound? Maybe there was some kind of life force trying to get into the spaceship. UFO Lights In 2005, NASA astronaut Leroy Chiao was the commander of the International Space Station. And while he was in the International Space Station, he saw some very strange things. He told the Huffington Post he saw some green lights which were in a strange line. 
He said it kind of looked like an upside down check mark. Leroy said he saw these lights fly by the International Space Station, and according to him he found it very strange. Yeah, I would say that's an understatement. Some skeptics have said maybe these were far off fishing lights on Earth, but Leroy does not think this and I don't see how that could be the case either. Music as the Apollo 10 spaceship passed by the dark side of the moon, all of the astronauts on board heard something strange. They described it as ethereal music. Listening to the transcript of the astronauts talking about this is very unsettling. Astronauts Thomas Stafford, John Young, and Eugene Cernan heard the music. The transcript went like this. That music sounds out of spacey, doesn't it? Do you hear that whistling sound? Yes. Boy, that sure is weird music. We're gonna have to find out about that. No one will believe us. That eerie music is really bothering me. You know what? I hear it too. Who's gonna believe this? Nobody. Should we tell other people about it? I don't know. I think we ought to think about it some. Based on transcripts, it seems the Apollo 11 team also heard this same music. But to this day, we still don't know what it is and it remains one of the biggest mysteries of space. You've killed me. This is one of the most haunting things any astronaut has ever said. In 1967, Russian cosmonaut Vladimir Komarov was sent into space, but he did not make it back alive. He knew this was going to happen and said his goodbyes to his family for good before he went into space. The rocket was not ready, but the Soviet Union said he had to go into space no matter what. A few moments after he entered space, his spacecraft, the Soyuz 1, malfunctioned. His final words were picked up by a US listening post. He was screaming and crying in anger, but his final words went like this. The heat in my capsule is rising. You've killed me. Asteroids. This one comes from the astronaut Chris Hadfield. Someone once asked him, what's something that scares you while you're in space? He said sometimes he hears pinging sounds in space, and these are tiny asteroids hitting his spacecraft. He said the solar panels on the outside of his spacecraft are filled with tiny holes. These are from small meteorites striking them. I don't know about you, but that really scares me. But now it's time to make your voice heard. Comment below which was the scariest thing said by an astronaut. If you want some more amazing videos, check out my second channel. But as always, thanks for watching. There are some more videos on screen right now. Leave a like if you enjoyed, and if you haven't already, what are you waiting for? Subscribe to Top 10s.